everybody, welcome to the latest toy collection update, the place where you see all the latest additions to my ever-growing toy collection, and with me I have a little special beautiful assistant, and that is Stee. <laughs> Hello. So yeah, Stee's going to pass me the stuff. Um, I've kind of let it get a bit out of hand, so there's quite a big pile here, so it's kind of a super um, toy update, but yeah, Stee's going to be my lovely assistant and pass me things, so you can choose whatever you want and then pass it to me and I'll show it off there. Ah, so here we go. Start off with the ghost spooker, something I never saw as a kid. Did you see it, Steve? I think I have, actually. Really? I never yeah. saw it. I don't... Yeah, I, I just saw it. It was quite cheap um, as well, but quite excited. So basically, you... Um, yeah, I'll show you at the back. It's like a little ghost trap thing, and you put your voice in it, and it changes it to like a spooky voice. I'll review it in the future, and I bet you it's, it won't sound very good at all. Most voice changes from that time, even now, aren't very good. I noticed it's got a twenty four ninety nine price tag on it. Was that how much you paid for it, or when did you get it from? Um, I got it. I get everything from eBay. I think I paid fifteen quid for it. But well, have you ever heard of a shop called Zodiac? Never heard of it. No. Yeah, it's from Zodiac for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. Don't know who Zodiac is. Comments below. But yeah, that's quite cool. I do like it though. The ghost spooker. Um, not really looked inside it yet, so I will be checking it out properly soon. But um, yeah, it's got all the stickers and everything, and yeah, just says for ghost spooker. So, never had one as a kid, so if you did, comments below. So, that's that one. You can just stick it over there, I guess. Oh, next we've got a little one, and that is the Batman 75th Anniversary Special Hot Wheels thing, and it's the original 1966 car. Um, they had a whole set of, I think it was, yeah, eight. This is four of eight. Um, Nerdtastic Taylor, you probably know him, got the whole collection, and he might be doing a video soon of him. But yeah, that's quite cool. I do like it. I do like the original car. I think it's my, one of my favourite cars. And it's just a nice little thing. I think I got it from Asda. Yeah, nice little addition. Oh, next one. Very oh, good one. Yeah. Ghost Trap. So yeah, I've got the Proton Pack, so now I've got the Ghost Trap, and that's all of it now, isn't it? I had this as a kid. Did you? Yes, I love it. Yeah, I had ghost the Ghost Trap, trap as well. Yes. I absolutely ghost, love the Ghost Trap. And it comes with the Ghost uh, with it. You can see a little ghost there. I think that's actually inside the trap in the box. Um, there's not much I can say about it, really. It's just really cool, iconic Ghostbuster toy, really. You can't have um, a Ghostbusters collection without eventually getting the ghost trap. Expensive, but <laughs> I did manage to get it and everything, and it's really cool. And I wonder if they ever sold those. See the little costume? The little mini costume the kids Possibly. wearing? Do you reckon that was just for the picture, or did they actually sell little costumes like that? Because I never saw one. But, um, I love the ghost trap, it's such a cool toy and um, yeah, if you don't know what the ghost trap is, you put your foot on the little pump and it pops the ghost trap open, that's right isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is, yeah. And uh, it doesn't do anything else other than that, does it? <laughs> that's pretty no. much it, isn't it? But as long as you've got it, oh, does it do that? It did do that, I forgot all about that. With the proton pack, you hook it to the back of your proton pack, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I don't remember I ever forgot. doing that. Yeah, I don't remember actually ever doing it, but I forgot you actually could. Yeah, you so with the, it does actually literally go with the proton pack because you hook it to the back. Forgot all about that, and then you slide it across. It never slid; it just clumped everywhere. So you couldn't slide it really cool, but I had it on laminate flooring. Yeah, yeah, I never did <laughs> carpet. But um, ghost trap, very very nice addition to my collection, and yeah, will be reviewed in the future like everyone else will. But it's yeah. getting around to reviewing. It's getting around to it. <laughs> so we got next. Oh, another big one. We have the real Ghostbusters talking electronic game. Uh, when I bought this for two ninety nine on eBay, I thought literally it was going to be a tiny little LCD game, but no, it's huge. And yeah, I'll show you the back of it, show you what the actual game looks like. I never played this as a kid. No idea what you supposed to do. I never even knew it existed. Do. Yeah, I've seen it a few times on eBay, but never saw it as a kid or anything. But yeah, it's really cool. Looking, like I said, it's really big. So I'm looking forward to doing like a. I might do like a Dan and Steve play, you know, like a board game thing, because we, we're planning to do board games in the future, yeah, aren't we? Too, so, yeah. you know, Ghostbusters talking electronic game will have to be one in the future. Um, if it is two player, it must be two player, isn't it? The only thing about it, though, see that sticker? Um, I'll show you as well. Yeah. That sticker there, and um, yeah, that little ghost there, I recognise it so much. It's either on a different Ghostbusters toy as, as a kid, or I had this. But I recognise the orange ghost. So I don't know. Let me know if that orange ghost is on anything else. But yeah, that's that. What have we got next? Ah, there we go. Stimpy! Yes, absolutely love Ren Stimpy. And I have a really cool, huge um, Stimpy doll. Or Teddy. 
Um, I thought this was going to be tiny when I bought it because, um, it, again, it's like everything I've been buying lately. It's been quite cheap. And I went to my local toy shop and she had Ren Stimpy uh, teddies and she had one that looked exactly like this, but it was tiny. And I thought I'd spent money on a tiny little one. And then this guy came, so really happy with that. And yeah, gotta love Ren Stimpy. And he just, he looks so cool. Absolutely love him. He's got his little hair up there and everything. Really, really like him. And he's got a wrinkly bum for some reason. So yeah, he's ace. Love him. Right. What next? Um... Ooh. Real mm. Monsters. Uh, really weird, um, the Real Monsters thing, because uh, I'd forgotten Real Monsters ever released toys at all mm. until I saw these on eBay, because uh, obviously there's two more to come. I saw them on eBay, and I'd forgot that like, I, actu I actually had these ones. I didn't have every single Real Monsters toys, because you can see you've got the actual main characters on the back and stuff. I never had those. But I had um, I had these ones. Like um, There's three of them. There's... Well, I had all the ones at the bottom. You can see there, like they're like little creaturey, monstery things, rather than just the main characters. And I absolutely loved them. And I forgot they even existed. So when I saw all three on eBay, I had to get them. So pass me the other one. Um, yeah. So here's the other one that goes with it. Very very cool. I think you put him inside out, and he turns like a pile of puke or slime or something. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. I thought they were so cool. And I, I just completely forgot Real Monsters had toys. It was bigger than I thought. And this is the one I remember the most, because I did play with this one quite a lot. It turns into like a weird squid thing if you turn it inside out. Very, very cool. I do love Real Monsters, so I'm really happy to have these in the collection. What have we got next? Oh, I've already got them. Oh, oh. no, I didn't. Aha. No. I thought I already had these ones. No, I didn't. Um, <coughs> two Master System games. We've got The Ninja. Really original title. <laughs> and Action Fighter. So, yeah. Not played them. I haven't even since I got the Master System. I have not opened it, not touched it. They look anything. so bland, don't they? They are just, so they're really <laughs> bland. Looking. It's like that paper you get on like at school, where you did like your maths on it, like, just <laughs> squared paper from school, and just, just wrote on it in just like really rubbish clip art thing. <laughs> It really does look like that. I mean, just imagine walking to the shop now, nowadays and seeing that. Like, would you really spend I just got quid? the ninja. <laughs> Screw you. Yeah, but, yeah, nice additions to the Master System collection. I just noticed there's a bit of string coming off my shirt. Oh, next up we have Hero Turtles Drinking Straws. Nice little addition. Like some of you know, I don't just collect um, turtles and Ghostbusters toys. I collect any kind of weird merchandise and stuff like that, so I thought drinking straws were really cool, so yeah, got them. What we got next? Oh, big one. It's a big one. Ugh. We have the Ninja Turtles van, or the party wagon, if you like. Most people just say van. I know, I've never said party wagon. Did you ever say party wagon no, as a kid? The van. I always just said the turtle van. But yeah, finally got the turtle van boxed. Boxed isn't in the greatest condition, but it's not bad. It's not too no. bad. But, um, yeah, very happy. And again, I've not taken it out of the box. I've not looked at this as a boy. <laughs> it might be an empty box for all I know. But um, yeah, I'm really happy. I don't, know, I don't know if you've got any turtles in it. You can hear it rattling around. I don't know if there's any turtles in it. I don't think there is. But um, yeah, really happy. And I don't even know if it's complete. So yeah, I remember the eBay picture. And I think there was a piece missing, but I can't remember what it was. But I'm really happy to have it anyway, because I didn't have the turtle van at all. So, really, really happy to have that. And please comment below of your memories of it and stuff. And um, Is that the American version? Because would it be Ninja? It, yeah, I, I think it might be. Yeah. Right. If it, yeah, it says it is Ninja, it probably is the American version. But um, but it does say at the back, Ideal Toys UK. So, oh, so I might, don't know. They might have kept the Ninja for the... For those ones. Or maybe it's a later release, maybe? Yeah. It could be something like that. Comments below, let me know. Why is this one called Ninja? And not hero, and but it does say Ideal Toys UK and stuff. So I don't know, mate. Maybe it was an import or something. An import. <laughs> yeah. It's very strange. It's quite strange. I'll go next. Oh, next up, nice simple Psyduck. Got his little tag. I do love Psyduck. It's weird. I just I have a thing for cartoon ducks. Not like a weird thing. I, I just <laughs> really like cartoon ducks. Whether it's Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, any kind of duck. <laughs> but yeah, I just love ducks. So. Yeah, got a cool side up there. Really, really cool. So I like him. What we'll go next? Oh, to go with the Stimpy, I have a Wren. And he's nice and big too. I, d I just love these. I love the bums. They've got <laughs> weird bums on them. 
Yeah, I love Ren and Stimpy, and I'm really happy to have these in the collection. Uh, yeah, just looks really, really cool. Next. Possibly the greatest invention. It looks, it looks so much fun. It really <laughs> does. I think we no longer need the PlayStation 4 <laughs> when we have this guy. We have Blip. <laughs> It is an old, I don't know when it's from, 80s, 70s maybe, 70s something like that. that. Um, old electronic game, I'll get it out of the box, so it's, yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's an old, um, no batteries in it at the moment, but I will do a review of it, uh, eventually. But yeah, it's a game called Blip, a nice little electronic game. It looks kind of cool on the thing, it looks pongish. Hmm. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it sometime, I think it'll be riveting. I think I'll sell the PS4 after I start playing this and be like, this is my life now. <laughs> my life's all about Blip. What have we got next? Oh, next we've got an annual. That's the SMTV <laughs> annual. Um, yeah, if you remember a long time ago, me and Steve did a annual special of Steve's annuals. There will be a Dan's annuals coming out. Don't worry. I'm trying to go. And, I'm going to try and do it around Christmas. And this is just one of the annuals I got recently to go towards that. Um, yeah, I loved SMTV back in the day. Why is it cool. upside down in the other way? Because one's CD UK, uh... and the other one's SMTV. And they're actually literally backwards from each other. Like that's that way. But uh, if you go the other way, it's upside down. It's a weird way they did it. But, yeah. I always switched yeah. off after after SMTV Live. Not that I was a big SMTV Live fan yeah. anyway. I loved SMTV. Next up, we have a boxed um, Pokemon Red. So I've nearly got the full collection of the um, the original Pokemon games. I think it just, was it Silver that I yeah. needed. Just need Silver boxed, and I'd have all the originals. Really happy and Red. For some reason, blue was dead easy to get hold of. I don't know why, it's just dead simple. And that's my favourite one, so I'd really have to have that one. Red, on the other hand, so difficult to buy. It was going for £60, £70 pounds from some people. Managed to get this at a last minute thing for, I think it was 15 quid, something like that. It, so it wasn't too bad, but all the others I've ever seen gone for stupid money. And there's nothing different about it, really. It's just, I don't know, maybe they made less of red or. Maybe it's more of a favourite or less. I, I don't know, but red seems to be the hardest one to get out of the two for some reason. I don't know why. It always baffles me that they've not made them on like virtual console. That is weird, and I'd I'd go crazy if they released yeah. it on virtual console, and even if they didn't tweak it and make it like online Ooh. or anything like that, just the original game, I'd I'd, I'd buy it again. <laughs> but yeah, so Pokemon Red for Game Boy, very very happy to have that. Um, another one. I'm not sure if I already have this, but it was dead cheap, so. Um, yeah, it's a little Pikachu in its box. I'm actually going to look. Yeah, I've got him already. So, yeah, if anybody wants to trade or swap, I might do it, you know, because I can see him right there, the other one. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's one of those things when you see, because I think I saw this in my local toy shop, and I just looked, I thought, do I have this? When you've got so many things up of it, you forget, and I'm like, I don't well, think I've got Pikachu. With what? it being a Pikachu, you most probably do have it. Yeah, because I've got a lot of Pikachus, but I'm really happy. I do like him. He's so cute and everything as well, but I wanted to make sure, I got him just to make sure that I didn't have him, but I do have him, so trade swaps, maybe, something like that, I don't know. Um, next up, we've got one I don't have, and that is Charmander. Well, I say I don't have. Maybe you I do have. have. Oh, I no, gave I, you one. I do have one unboxed, actually. Yeah. But yeah, there he is. I can see him right there in the second shelf thing. <laughs> but he's unboxed. So I've got a boxed one now, which I'm really happy about, and I've got an unboxed one, so that's quite cool. Oh, if it was both boxed, then yeah, it would be up for trade, but I've got an unboxed one and a boxed one, so I'm quite happy about that. And if it next, you, your leg's getting tired. Yeah, it's <laughs> gone dead. Up. Next up, we have Electronic Pikachu Thundershock Attack. And really cool um, and cute looking Pikachu. Really cheap. And when I first saw this on eBay, I thought it was fake. Because usually you see like Pokemon there or some sort of label. And it didn't happen. I was like, that's got to be fake. The only thing that got me was the little Hasbro in the corner. So I thought, it's got to be real. It's Hasbro. So bought it and I absolutely love it. And I'll show you what it does. Basically, you've got um, buddy mode, which makes you do this. So it moves its ears. And, it moves it and it's just nice and buddy. And then you've got battle mode on the other side, where it does this. And if you didn't know, it was vibrating and shaking and stuff. It's really cool. <laughs> so it's really cool. I really like it. <laughs> But yeah, I really like that. I thought it was really, really cool. I've never seen one in the shops or anything. So I don't know when it was released. Um, 2005, there we go. But yeah, never seen one in the shops, so I'm really happy to have that. But yeah, very nice. Nice addition to my Pokemon collection. What have we got next? <laughs> right, this one. Um, 
I had this when I was younger. I don't know if you remember, Steve. I do remember. Do you remember me having it? I remember you having that. <laughs> I, <laughs> when I, when I don't know how old I would have been. 14, 15, something oh, 14, like that. When I, was at, when I was at my peak of Pokemon craziness, my grandma bought me this um, for Christmas. And like a week before Christmas, maybe a little bit more, um, I took it out of the box before she wrapped it, took it, <laughs> took the Pikachu out, put the, closed the box and everything, and then went up to Steve's house to show him. Uh, I don't know if you remember that. I do remember but that. But I practically stole it before Christmas and she'd wrapped it up and everything. I just opened it. I was like, oh, brilliant. Thank you. I've had it for over a week. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, she never knew about it. But um, I absolutely loved it. It's just it's like a little Tamagotchi, basically. You look after your Pikachu. And it's a pedometer as well. So when you're walking, you gain watts and you can feed it. And it was just really cool. I really liked it. There's another, there's another one as well, a colour one that I really want to get hold of. The thing about this is I was doing a stream the other day and I asked a question and it was, what's the smallest thing you've ever spent the most money on? This is my one. Have a guess, Steve, how much this cost me. 50 quid. 70 pounds. What? <laughs> I went a bit crazy when I saw this because I've seen it a lot on eBay every so often and sometimes not in the box, sometimes, sometimes it's sealed. And they've been quite expensive, 150 quid, 120 quid. You can probably, every so often, if you're lucky, find it a lot cheaper than I paid it for, maybe. But I was in one of those moments where I'd bought a load of stuff, as you can see, and I was like, I need it. It's, so, it's something that's missing from a Pokemon collection. It's something that I loved as a kid. And the reason I collect is because I'm collecting things that I loved as a kid and things that I never had as a kid and stuff like that. And I had this, and I loved it. And I do not know what happened to my original one. No idea. So I just, you know when your hand just takes control and just clicks that pineapple button? And as I was doing it, I was like, it's 70 quid, Dan. The things you could be buying with it. You can't really afford it. you got bills. you got... I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is the smallest thing I've ever spent the most money on. So comments below, what's the smallest thing you've ever spent the most money on? Um, yeah, that's mine. The Pikachu pet. And I do love it though. And it's another thing that since I bought it, I've never looked at it. And I will see in the front. I'll make a review on it or something. You should be getting it out of the box and walking <laughs> around with it. You should actually be running around. And I walk to, nearly to work every day. I should be putting it on my little belt buckle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have some Pokemon sliders. <clears throat> but these ones are another thing. I'm like, when I saw them, because they were dead cheap, I think I paid £1.50 for these. No, £2.20 because of posting packaging. But it was one of those ones, because I love Pokemon Sliders, and I was like, have I got this one? The Mewtwo, Meowth, Snorlax one. I don't know if Steve can look for me. They'd probably be hung up. See where the sliders are when they're, they're all hung up in a row there. You can see the two sliders. I can see... What two sliders do I have? I don't want that one's got that. Venusaur on it, so it can't be that one. Oh, wait, wait, it's the, it's the front one. I think I already have this. Let's see. I can ah. see Mewtwo. I can see Meowth. Yes, you already do. <laughs> I already have this one, but um, I spent little money on it, so it's not too bad. And it looks like it might be in a bit of better condition. That one looks really crushed, so I bought a better condition one, basically, so that's good. But, um, yeah, I did go crazy with the spending. Have we got anything else left? Oh, we do. <laughs> we have a Meowth. Um, that's really good. I've never actually seen this. Never saw it as a kid or anything like that. Did you see? Nope. No, I never saw it as well, but um, yeah, it's a collector magnet of um, of Meowth. I love Meowth. And you can press his stomach, and I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but... Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, apparently you can get Electrode. I've never seen any Electrode toys, really. And Coughing, Meowth, and Pikachu. But yeah, it's pretty, really cool. So I really like that. I've never seen it on eBay or anything, so yeah, kind of rushed to get that. Yeah, really nice. Really impressed with that. Next up we have, oh, another Meowth. We have a Jammer Meowth. Um, I already got a Gengar one, but again, another cheap one. There was a person on eBay not long ago just selling their whole collection in loads of bits, so I took advantage and got a lot of bits. But um, yeah, another Meowth Jammer. What is a Jammer? Is it just one of those things where you if it, it hits and it makes a noise kind of thing? Yeah, yeah I thought it was something like that. Uh, but yeah, I've got, already got a Gengar one, and there's a Meowth one. There's loads of Jammers, so um, I really want to try and get the rest of them. Yeah, there's like there's Pikachu, Tangler, Togepi, Psyduck, Snorlax... I think I've got Snorlax, I'm not sure. Geodude, Gengar, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Lickitung and Squirtle. I really want the Squirtle one. But yeah, there's loads of them. I'd love to end up getting them all, but I don't think I will. But yeah, that's cool. We'll go next. 
<laughs> Next up, we have Learn with Pokemon Type and Adventure. And you're all probably saying, what? <laughs> Never heard of it. WTF. Yeah. <laughs> it's a DS game, and it's a keyboard. So if I can show you the little picture, if you can see it there. Um, yeah, so there's a little keyboard you put in front of your DS. <coughs> and you do typing games, like you type in Pokemon, like Pikachu, and a Pikachu will do something, or um, letter by letter, and com if you do combos as you type, it basically just learns kids how to type and stuff. So it's kind of cool that way. It's in beautiful condition. It's got this, it's completely full. I don't think it's even been opened. It's still got the sticker like there, so I don't think it's ever been opened. It might have been, but such nice condition. But I've got a feeling, I've got a strong feeling that it might be a collector's item in the future because nobody bought it. It just went into obscurity because it's a keyboard for your DS. So it's kind of nice to have this in my collection. I'm really excited. And it cost me practically nothing. Uh, I think it was like five quid, six quid. It might have been a bit more. I can't remember. But it didn't cost me that much. So really impressed with that. It's kind of cool. And just weird. A weird Pokemon thing that came out. Yeah. What have we got next? Oh, more Pokemon. <laughs> it's quite Pokemon heavy, this one. Is. This is Pokemon Mini Console. Um, yeah, another quite obscure thing um, Nintendo released. Basically, it is a little mini console, and they came with little tiny cartridges, you can see there. I think I do have another cartridge somewhere in my game section for um, Pokemon of one of the games, and it's completely sealed. This, again, perfect condition, and it basically just plays little LCD mini games and stuff based on Pokemon. So this one, it came with Pokemon Party Mini. Um, and there was Pokemon Pinball Mini and stuff like that. And it's just a nice little console that just didn't pick you know pick up didn't what's the word for that didn't get popular there's a word for it i can't remember what the word is i'm trying to think of a certain word but yeah it didn't catch on that was the word <laughs> but, yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> but yeah it's just it didn't really catch on and i i don't really remember seeing it in shops or anything when i was younger so it's i don't know if it was just limited or something but i'm really excited to have that i have been trying to bid on this for a few years now and they've always been quite expensive so Really happy to have that. It's kind of a cool, another cool thing for my Pokemon collection. Do we have anything else left? Um, yes. Oh, we do. Yeah. So we'll That's slowly that. go through these ones. I got a load of McDonald's Happy Meal toys. I did say a long time ago that I was going to do a Happy Meal um, special because I, I used to love Happy Meal toys in the 90s. And um, I was going to do a big special of loads of Happy Meal toys, you know, the classics. So I'm still trying to build up the collection, but I've got this one. I've got this one. Uh, what other ones have we got? We've got this this crazy looking one. It's really, really cool. Uh, got this one. With um, Grimace. That's his name, isn't it? It's Grimace, isn't it? Don't know. Yeah. Sure, it's Grimace. Um, and this one. Which is really, really cool. And this bus thing. I didn't even know I had this one. I didn't even notice this one in the collection. Uh, yeah, that. So it's a nice start to my um, Happy Meal toy collection. And once I've got like you know a fair amount of them, then I'll do a really huge, maybe a two-part or extravaganza of um, classic Happy Meal toys. And if anybody wants to donate any Happy Meal toys for the video, feel free. But um, yeah, as long as they're not based on movies, a few can be based on movies as long as they're classic ones everybody remembers. But mostly, you know, just the classic ones with the characters and stuff. We're on to the last two items. Last two items. Last two items now. This vi video is over 20 minutes long now. That's crazy. Uh, last two we have are these. Now, I can't remember if these, because they're not battle trolls, but I cannot remember what they're called. The stone protectors, was it, or something like that? Do you not remember them? Nope. Um, I'm sure they're not. But they were classed as battle trolls on eBay. But I've got a battle troll, and they're more just stiff, and because um, i got a Cyclops one. And they're just rubbery and stiff, and I'm sure... They didn't release any other type of battle troll, so I think these are the ones that I think they're called like stone protectors or something protectors, and uh, we've got that one as well. I think they're correct me if I'm wrong um, in the comments below, but yeah, they're really cool anyway. I think it was three quid for both of these ones. Uh, I don't think it says anything about them. Just 1992 applause ink. Yeah, so don't forget if I had any of these as a kid. I don't think so. They look more like villains to me. They you do know, like, kind to of the don't villains they? of the battle trolls. Yeah, could be. I don't know. Really don't know, but um, let me know in the comments below. Well, I just love anything trolls, so uh, yeah, so I got these, but yeah. And oh god, it's finally oh, over. Yeah. That is this huge collection update that I was initially going to put in like 
two separate parts, but I'm glad I got it over with now. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of it, Austy? There's a lot there. <laughs> There's a lot there. There's an awful lot. Anything favourite out of the collection? Um, I like your Turtles van. Yeah. Um, I'm glad to see that. Um, obviously, I've, I know I've got a Turtle van, but it's nice to see it boxed. Yeah. Um, everything of... else, it's, yeah. It's, um, obviously, Pokemon Red as well. That's always yeah, it's yeah, always yeah, nice to see an po- original Pokemon game. Yeah, but I'm exhausted after that. <laughs> that was a big one. So, yes, that was my latest um, toy collection update. And now I definitely need shelves for this room because I've run out of room completely. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. Share this video around. Subscribe if you already haven't. Like, comment, etc. And it might be a while before the next collection update, but I'll see you on the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>